launch off the water as the kite reaches 12 o'clock. But unlike the initial smaller jumps, you want to continue to fly the kite past 12 so that it's slightly behind you. This helps to position your body to turn slightly and face forwards. Because you will now be hanging in the air for longer, you must keep the kite stable in this position, slightly behind you until you start to fall from the top of the jump. Having the kite slightly behind means you can slowly redirect the kite so that it's facing forwards, ready to drop down into the power zone. Much like when we water start and start by bringing the kite behind us. Experienced riders will often do a small loop of the kite directly overhead to achieve the same effect. But this should only be attempted when your kite skills improve and you're confident in looping the kite.